this space is a space that it's art that glorifies God and it is beautiful. Let's just put the name of Jesus out there, make it strong, make it loud, make it proud, and show that God's divinity in our lives is shown through our creativity together. In all this busyness, this hustle, this bustle, like you are under construction. Like you are God's divine design. Like he's working on you. Don't give up, don't quit. This place should motivate you to go home, create a peace now, create whatever you're in, like whatever field you're in. Just don't waste time. And I think there's something special about using your hand to trace the words that are coming out of your soul. What would you do if I did that to you, Kami? That I would love it. You'd crack up. I would love it. <laughs> There's no way for me to get closer to God than when I'm in my creative process. And when I'm so attached to my plan, I'm not leaving room for God's plan. I don't think we really realize the power and how profoundly just divine it is, the gift of rest. You're fearfully, wonderfully made. I formed you in your mother's womb. Inspiration is truly the breath of God. The reason inspiration touches your soul is because it's not a person that you're feeling. It is, it is the very breath of the living being that is on the inside of you. Sometimes when the career is going this way, character is going this way. Yeah. We put these ladders because it was like our stairway to heaven. We had no idea that the man who invented and came up with the concept of this space would be in heaven, but God did. So. Life is so short that you can't waste even a day subscribing to what someone thinks you can do versus knowing what you can do. And that's like the switch. It's, it's like the switch in your head is if you can get to a place where you can act on that, I guarantee you it's a domino effect.